Hey guys, it's me again. So I was going to do a video for y'all about uh, stacking magnets up versus making magnets wider. Sorry, this is unscripted, but hopefully you enjoy that. So uh, as you can see on my screen here, I'm starting out with a 190 millimeter magnet. Hopefully that comes through with a 66 millimeter height. So coincidentally, this is the magnet size of the X version one. So I've already simulated that. We can see the motor force factor is uh, 196. And that's with 14.6 pounds of ferrite. Now we're only going to look at the ferrite mass. We're not looking at total mass for this exercise. So now let's say, for example, like the M series coming up, let's throw another magnet on there. Okay. Now, just for the record, I'm not throwing another magnet on the M series for motor force. The reason I'm throwing an extra magnet on the M series is for clearance. So if you go back to the X version one, that winding was about 55 to 60 millimeters, depending on the impedance. Now, the M series is going to have an 87 millimeter winding. <laughs> so you're going to need that extra space in there. And that's the only reason for it. So as you can see clearly, motor force factor went from 196 to 205. And we went to a 8839 gram magnet, which is 19 and a half pounds. So we added five pounds of magnet for basically nothing. So, you know, just for the sake of argument, though, we're going to stack another magnet on here. We're just going to stack it all up. You know, we're going to pretend like we have our own YouTube channel and we're just going to keep stacking things. So here we go. This is this will be five magnets, actually. Each one of these magnets is 22. So we're going to see what we get from there. We're at a motor force factor of 205 before. And this bad boy is running all the figures. And now we're going to see. So here we are at 210. That's another five pounds of magnet. We're at 24 pounds of magnet. We originally started at 14, so we've added 10 pounds of magnet to gain maybe 5%. So that's really nothing. So let's see what we can do with a wider magnet going back to 19 pounds. So this is what we're gonna do. I've already calculated this ahead of time to avoid all the boredom for y'all. We're gonna go to a 212 magnet. And of course, we're gonna increase the steel appropriately. All right. So this is brings us back to the same as our second example with 19 pounds of magnet. And we were at 205 with the, the tall stack. So now let's see, we are at the wide stack. So we're, that's all calculating there, good times. So now our motor force factors jumped way up there to 292. Okay, so that, that's a huge difference. That is like almost 50% roughly from the original one for gaining for adding five pounds of magnet versus almost nothing for adding five pounds of magnet on height so just for the sake of argument let's go to the same magnet mass as the five stack and that's actually going to be a 231 in this case so again i've already done that calculation ahead of time to avoid uh, excess boredom and dead time for y'all all right so we're going to hit that let's see what a 231 magnet does now that's just a weird size i was just trying to get the the uh, mass as close as possible for this exercise. So generally you're not gonna see a 231, kind of an oddball. So this is a 231 by 66, triple stack, but we're going to the 24 pounds. And we see we've jumped all the way up to 343. So we've gained over 50% motor force from the original exercise. And from the same mass with the five stack, still over 50% more motor force. So. Like I said, originally, the reason that you'll see, like on some of my new stuff, like the new M series, the reason that you'll see that taller stack is because I need it for mechanical stroke. Like the M series, again, is going to an 87 millimeter long coil. It's actually longer than anything that we sell right now, except for the team. And that's going to be on the little guy. So I know that some people are like, oh, look, uh, this other guy said quad stacks are awesome. Well, yeah, quad stacks are awesome if you need them. But for magnetics, they do basically nothing. They're there for clearance. And they're especially silly if you, you know, like why would you stack a quad stack motor together and stick it on 12 spoke or four spoke old, old school frame? Those things have like 30 some millimeters of maximum mechanical stroke in the frame, that's silly. But now when you're pairing it with a long coil with our new frame, our new platform, all that, it actually becomes quite usable. So anyway, trying to keep these short. So I hope everybody enjoyed. <laughs>